Hey everybody, welcome back to Chronic Woodwork. I'm Andy. Today is episode seven in my series of videos on how to build a cedar strip canoe. Today we are prepping the hole for fiberglass. Here we go. Hole preparation began with pulling all of the staples from my canoe. Uh, I really don't want to do the math, but I can tell you it is a whole lot of staples. Do your best to be gentle. Um, as you pull, some of the cedar strips may come up, uh, but they should be pretty solid. Just kind of push against the canoe while you're pulling the staple away. Next, I took the miniature block plane and just shaved down some of the real high spots where planks would join one another. You'll see I'm getting some really nice shavings, but if you're real serious about using a block plane, I'd recommend buying you know, a higher end Veritas block plane or something like that. It definitely took me a while to get my block plane tuned up to where I was getting some nice shavings and the steel on this block plane just isn't very good. So I did a whole, whole lot of sharpening. But with a little bit of patience, you can get some nice ribbons. This one right here is one of my personal favorites where I caught in between two cedar strips. I'm not super comfortable with my block plane, so I didn't want to overdo it. So after I knocked down the really, really high spots, I convert it to my orbital sander. Um, I'm using 60 grit and I just want to get a single pass over the canoe and knock away any frail edges from the bead or cove strips uh, and just kind of expose any problem areas. I do my best to wear safety gear when I'm making videos to give the right impression, but let me just go ahead and say it's important for you to get a nice dust mask when sanding your cedar strip canoe. This is one of those do as I say, not as I do type things. After my initial pass with 60 grit sandpaper, you are able to see where the fragile cove strips gave way. Okay, as per usual, I wanna take a second to kind of explain my way moving forward. Where I'm at right now is I've sanded the entire canoe down to 60 grit, which is obviously very coarse, but it's gonna get rid of some of those real big burrs and bumps I have, some of the splinters from the cedar strips. Moving forward, I've got some of these big gaps and some small gaps. For the larger gaps, I'm gonna be using West Systems Epoxy with their thickening compound and some fine cedar dust. For the smaller cracks, I'm gonna use FAMO wood or FAMO wood. I talked to Trent at Presler Wood Shop and he highly recommended this stuff. The dude's a boss, so it's definitely good enough for me. Uh, I'm gonna use that to fill some of these smaller gaps and then continue my sanding process. We're gonna do 80, 100, 120, and then we should be ready for fiberglass. And we're gonna make sure we wet down the, the canoe hull between each uh, level of sanding to help raise the grain and really get this thing nice and smooth. Here we go. As soon as I popped open the can of the cedar tinted FAMO wood, I could tell the color wasn't gonna be right. Um, I used some of it, but ultimately I ended up purchasing seven different kinds of wood filler. I understand that sounds crazy, but if you get this far in a project, you really don't wanna cut corners on something as simple as wood filler. So with those seven different kinds, I did my best to match color when filling in the gaps between my cedar strips. After the first round of wood filler, I went ahead and sanded the canoe down with 100 grit. Uh, you can see in the video, I wasn't very considerate to my wife who was upstairs with the baby. She came down and closed the door. So please be mindful of that. Uh, I'm sorry, dear, and I love you. After my round of 100 grit sandpaper, I did another round of wood filler. Uh, it kind of exposed some more problem areas. And then it was back to the sander with 120 grit this time. There's nothing real exciting to say about sanding. You know, you just work from one end of the canoe to the other and then repeat it on the other side. I'm sorry, I don't have anything more profound to say about sanding. Once I was complete with the 120 grit round of sanding, I wet the canoe down with a warm cloth. That's just to help raise the grain, kind of get rid of some dusties and expose any real problem areas on the canoe. The, the water's just gonna bring out the colors of the canoe. Some of my wood filler actually failed while I was sanding. So I went back and used the West Systems Epoxy with some cedar dust from sanding uh, to refill some holes. But then it was back to sanding with the 180 grit. And that was the final grit I used before fiberglass because you want a little bit of roughness for the fiberglass cloth to grab onto. To wrap up this portion of the build, I wet the canoe down one more time with a warm cloth. At this point of the game, you have to be satisfied with your woodwork. You don't have a bunch of room to continue sanding because you want to maintain as much hole thickness as possible. All things considered, I felt like I was ready for fiberglass. 
that's going to do it for this episode of Chronic Woodwork. Next time, we're going to be laying out the fiberglass sheet and applying our coats of epoxy. See you next time. Thanks for watching.